Good morning, good morning. We are heading to Homer, Louisiana to fish down in Terrebonne Parish for some good old redfish action. We have some high winds forecasted today. They're calling for they're calling for like 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So definitely taking the chance to go out there and try to put something together. That wind won't make it easy, but the fish still should bite. I just don't know how many is gonna bite. The weather is nice, it's nice and cool out today. The humidity is not high at all. So this north wind is definitely gonna feel good out there for a change. I plan on just throwing a spinner bait all day because the winds are gonna be high. And what's most exciting about today is that I'm fishing some new waters. So the waters that I plan on fishing today, I've never fished a day in my life. I don't know what it looks like in person. I know what it looks like on the map, but I don't know what it looks like in person. So it's, it's gonna be a pretty interesting day to see if I can go out there and figure out a, a pattern or a bite. So enough talking, let's continue to make our way to the boat launch and see if we can get on some of these redfish. gonna give it a shot the conditions are not great today because the winds are blowing pretty high and we have like 25 mile per hour wind gusts so um, I'm just gonna try to find some protected areas like what I'm looking at right here that's semi protected from the wind and just chunk this spinner bait around and uh, hopefully we get bit So today is actually like one of the first fronts of the year. And um, it's not a, I would say that it's not a, a, a huge front because, you know, I mean, it's, it's not cold out here, but the temperatures have dropped and, you know, hey, maybe it might do something to the fish, maybe it might not, but you only can know if you go. The water isn't blowing out the marsh, so uh, that's a good sign. And that is one reason why I think I have a chance to catch a couple of reds if I can find where they're at. I have no idea where the fish are back here. So we just go poke around until we find some, hopefully. <laughs> I think I see another disturbance over there. <sighs> oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> I barely saw that fish, y'all. <laughs> I barely saw that fish. Put my power pole down. He's not a big guy, but he's a fish. Uh, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Let's flip this guy in. It's not big at all. All right. So we have the first fish of the day, a beautiful slot red fish, nice colors, two spots, very healthy little guy. And um, that one fell victim to uh, the spinner bait. I've been talking about this bait for the past couple of trips and I talk about it because it works, you know. Especially on days like this, you got high winds. It's not cloudy today. The sun is shining, but the winds are extremely high. So a spinner bait or a gold spoon, preferably a spinner bait for me, um, can definitely get you some fish in conditions like this. All 
right. Perfect. Let's see if we can do that again. So as I'm drifting, I'm noticing there's a coloration change from, from the looks of it, at least. From where I'm at right now to about 50 yards ahead of me, it looks like the water is a little bit cleaner over there. And it, it may be due to vegetation. They might have more vegetation in that area back there. So I'm gonna allow my kayak to drift that way and uh, well, I'm actually probably going to give myself a little boost and head that way and drift it to see if I can uh, spot a couple of fish floating around. I'm seeing some garfish right now, so maybe the redfish are floating out there too. Especially if they have vegetation out there, they should be out there floating. So the water is definitely a little bit cleaner. These redfish float up high like they should. I should be able to catch one with no problem. Well, <laughs> while I was drifting, I end up, uh, running up on a, a pair of redfish and I flipped at him right at the boat he hit it I didn't have my camera on sorry about that but at least y'all get to watch the fight <laughs> oh man this is awesome so I am, uh, I'm fighting them on 15 pound fluorocarbon. So I'm not, I don't want to horse them too much, but it is some uh, good quality fluorocarbon. So I should be good. However, can't underestimate the power of a redfish. So got to just take your time, have fun with them, get them to the boat. So the next time somebody tells you, oh man, it's too windy to go fishing. Nah, bro. Get out there and do your thing, man. Because you can come out here in the high winds. I'm fishing 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts. And I'm catching beautiful redfish. Just like this. I think he's ready to go, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that stud. That is what I call a fat redfish. Goodness gracious. Wow. Yeah, he wasn't going nowhere. That is a beautiful fish, y'all. Wow. I want to know how long this fish is. So we are looking at a 30 and three quarter inch redfish. So we finally got our bull. I wanted to come out here and see if I can catch some redfish, but specifically I really wanted to catch a bull. And that didn't take long. Wow, let's get this girl back in the water. There she goes. There you have it. Old fashioned spinner bait. No need to get complicated. Keep it simple. 
basically all I was basically all I was doing is drifting I'm drifting this bank I'm letting the wind push me down this bank um, normally in conditions like this you can float down a bank or over a flat or whatnot and you can catch those fish just floating up high cruising the bank so that's what's going on right now I've spooked a couple of red fish on the other side along the bank so I figured it wouldn't be long until I catch another one I caught one small one but that that right there is the catch of the day and uh that definitely felt good see a garfish right there it was actually two fish that were together and thankfully the bigger one bit because it was a smaller one that was with her Pull down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now the real challenge comes in now because I have this fish hooked and I have it hooked pretty good, but I'm, I'm surrounded by trees and you know, stumps and whatnot. So this fish can easily, easily break me off. This is probably another bull, not as big as the one that I just caught a few moments ago. But uh, yeah. Then again, y'all, this might be a slot. This might be a good tournament fish. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is a good fish right here. This is a heck of a fish. Wait till I show y'all the colors on this fish, y'all. All right, there we go. There we go, there we have it. Look at the colors on this fish, y'all. That is a beautiful golden bronze whatever color you want to call it orange this right here is an example of pumpkins down here in louisiana when we say we're going to the pumpkin patch in october this is what we're talking about right here baby absolutely gorgeous man all right we took some photos let's get this girl back in the water beautiful fish man goodness okay all right, so that last fish I caught, y'all, that fish was doing exactly what I wanted it to do, floating high and swimming slow. And she, she wasted no time going out to that spinner bait. Seems like they're liking the cooler temperatures just as much as I am. Saw some shrimp jumping right there. All right, we're gonna keep going in the back, tucking in behind this marsh and seeing if uh, we can see some more. I'm trying to stay as protected as I can from this wind. It just makes things easier for me as an angler to uh, position my boat, make accurate casts and all that good stuff, so. There's definitely a lot of bait in here for sure. So with all this bait that I'm seeing, 
I should see another redfish pop up in the next few minutes if I had to guess. Look all that bait. Y'all see that? A bunch of little minnows. Thought I had one, y'all. Just a stump. A lousy old stump. Should come off pretty easily. There we go. Come on. Gotta have a redfish in this little pocket right here, y'all. Just one. Just just one redfish. Just needed to pop up. Give me an opportunity. I promise I'm gonna put you right back in the water. Uh, I'm seeing garfish and bait. Oh no, that's a red. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Like I said, man, just give me an opportunity. And I promise you I'm gonna do my best to capitalize on it. Power pulls down. Beautiful fish. Small, but it's definitely a pretty fish. I don't want to take no chance. Because I'm using fluorocarbon. So, no need to harsh them in, no need to be in a rush. Just, uh, Scoop them up like that. All right. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Four spots on this fish. All right, finally got it off the hook. And we're gonna get her back in the water. I had a feeling it was gonna be a redfish in this little pocket, man. A windblown pocket that's not all the way blown out. Has some bait swimming all around and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, glad I was able to have a little fun with that fish. Oh, no. Oh, man, that was a redfish right there, man. That was definitely a redfish, y'all. <sighs> oh, I think I see another one. Horrible cast. Oh, another bad cast. I think that's a red, y'all. Yep, it's a red. It is a red. Another little guy. Oh, girl. Either one. All right, there we have it. I think this is number five or six. I lost count. I think we're around five or six fish for the day. All right, got that bait out. 
croaking away, so that's a male. He's on his way to being a, a very healthy redfish. He's not long yet, but he's definitely uh, getting fat eating all this good bait that they got back here. All right, buddy. Thank you. All right, so I missed that one fish coming through the cut. And I think it was just a short strike. The fish didn't really have the, the bait in its mouth the way it needed to have it. And uh, that's why I missed that fish. But also the hook set was pretty horrible. But anyway, <laughs> I seen another one coming down, coming through that cut right there. And I made a couple of casts from a distance. And I think third cast. Got him to bite. But I tell you what, not only are the fish beautiful, but the scenery is beautiful back here too. Very beautiful. I think I see. Oh, I think that's a big fish right there, y'all. Oh! It's right there, it's right there, y'all. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man. That was awesome. In the main canal at that, y'all. The main canal. All right, y'all, so with that last fish that I caught, at least I got the hook set. I'm pretty upset because the the fight wasn't caught on camera it seems like my gopro overheated and it cut off on me i didn't even realize it but the most important part was the hook set and the way it came back and bit the second time i thought that was pretty cool so i did get that on camera as y'all saw but the landing of the fish wasn't caught on camera i did land the fish it was 30 30 and a quarter inches long so another good bull that um, I was able to put on the board today. And yeah, it was fun. I really enjoyed that fight. Pretty cool bite. So I'm gonna fish for a little while longer, see if I can catch another fish or two before I head on back and enjoy the rest of this Sunday, Sunday afternoon and watch some football. So let's get back at it. Oh yeah. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see that one coming at all. Power pull down real quick. Definitely came after like he was a bigger fish. But I'll take it. Oh yeah. Yep. 
another little guy it's definitely a good sign to see a lot of little fish it's definitely a good sign you ready buddy curious to to see uh, how long these fish because I caught a couple of them at this length okay so about 19 and a quarter so pretty fish pretty fish I caught that fish blind casting. I didn't uh, I didn't see that fish at all. There's a lot of bait on this bait, so I'm not surprised that I caught one, but I didn't see that fish at all, so. And I think when I was fighting him, I spooked off a couple of more, because I seen some little mud puffs all around. A school of them right there y'all I must have rolled right on them little, little small small school of fish I'm gonna try to flip him in without popping all right buddy thank you for participating Another 19 incher. I'm not mad at it, man. I don't mind catching a whole bunch of 19 inches, you know, when I'm just having fun. Definitely not for a tournament, but for a day like today, I'll take a bunch of those in a heartbeat. And like I said, it's a good sign when you have a bunch of small fish like that, you know, that that lets you know that you have a pretty healthy fishery. And it's a good sign for the future. All right, so with that fish that I just caught, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. It was an awesome day out here. The weather is beautiful. It feels nice out here. Although the wind is blowing like crazy, if you can find some protected areas and, and fish that, pick it apart and find you a group of fish, you can really have a good day and high winds. So I think today the winds were around like 15 miles per hour with a 25 to 30 miles per hour uh, gust. So it was, it was windy. It definitely was windy, but I was able to figure something out, put together a little puzzle and, and catch a couple of fish. The areas that I fished today, I've never fished this a day in my life. Never seen it before. I've seen it on a map but I've never fished it a day in my life. So this was all new waters to me. And real quick, today all of my fish came off of the uh, spinnerbait. I'm telling y'all, this spinnerbait gets the job done. When you're going out there in the marsh, especially on windy days, make sure you have a spinnerbait in your boat or tied onto one of your poles because it will produce fish. I find that it works really good on cloudy days when the wind is blowing, but today the sun was shining, but the wind was very high and the spinnerbait produced all of my fish. Now I did miss a couple. I had some short strikes on this spinnerbait, but overall they really was uh, attacking the spinnerbait really good. So I kept this in my hand the whole time and uh, I had a blast. So the fall weather is almost here and I'm excited. The fishing is only going to get better and I can't wait. But until then, I'm going to enjoy all these beautiful fishing days that we get because in a couple of months, 
we ain't gonna have no water in the marsh at all because those fronts are gonna push that water out. But anyway, that's enough talking for me. I'm about to head back to the truck to go watch some football with my family and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I hope y'all week is full of success and blessings. And until next time, tight lines and God bless. Ooh.